Hi, Cozy friends, how are you? The thing I hate the most about being a cozy gamer is that I don't have enough time to play all the games that I wanna play. My backlog is so unimaginably high that I get overwhelmed just thinking about it. I'm sure many of you are in the same boat. If you have a full-time job, if you go to school, there's just, it's so hard to find the time to play some games. And even harder for me is trying to get into a new game because when I wanna unwind for the day, I really just wanna go with something that I know and love. So I usually turn to like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing or Sims. So I wanted to share a list of games that I would be obsessed with. And I know this because I've done demos of them. I would be obsessed with this game and I would play it to its furthest extent if I just had the time to really get into it. I hope this list inspires you to maybe jump into one of the games in your backlog. Or maybe if you haven't heard of any of these games, you're like, well, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna jump into this game and this is gonna be my new hyper fixation. <laughs> I'm also hoping that this just forces me to really wanna jump into one of these games. All right, let's get into the list. The first is Witchwood. This was such a fun game to demo. It really drew me in both story-wise and game mechanic-wise. I really love the way that you go to different people throughout the forest to get different things from them and kind of the layered tasks that you have to do in order to get through that like level. It's also just such an aesthetically pleasing game. I just know I would be so happy and comforted playing it. Someday soon I hope to put some hours into this game and finally learn the story and kind of the the secrets behind the plot line going on here because it really is an interesting one. Next is Eastward. Eastward is actually the game that we've chosen recently in my Discord's like gaming book club, which kind of seeks to solve the exact issue I've been talking about of not really having the push to, to try new games in our backlog. I'll talk more about that later. But Eastward is just another aesthetically amazing, amazing game. I demoed this as well. I loved it. It's a action RPG adventure game where you're the this little girl in this post-apocalyptic world where you have some special powers and you kind of are learning what those are throughout the game. My favorite part of this game is actually the combat, which usually is not the case. I love that you have a little frying pan sometimes that you can hit the little enemies with. I think it is amazing. It's really fun. And there's clearly such a rich story here to uncover. I can't wait to do it when the time comes. The next is Garden Story. I also have a demo of this. You are rebuilding your town as this little grape um, and you're trying to keep it from this like invasive rot that's coming in and so you're doing a lot of like combat and also a lot of tasks for villagers again the animation it's so cute but in a different way this is like a very almost like old pokemon type animation style and like you're you're this little grape come on come on i've actually heard mixed reviews about this game but because of that it makes me want to try this so much more and kind of see what my own perspective is on this because i really liked the demo i thought it was really fun so yet another back into the backlog the next is Kinseed, and this has been in my backlog for years. I remember when I first started playing Stardew, like hearing rumblings about Kinseed, and I was like, that sounds fun because I love Stardew. I must like this one too. And I never tried it. I like I have not even I have not picked this game up once. It is a sandbox life sim RPG where everybody ages, everybody grows up, ages through their lifetime, even your pets. You also farm, you harvest, you sell crops. So kind of similar to Stardew Valley and other similar aspects like mining, foraging, things like that. But there are some additional aspects like auctions and like gods that can curse your harvest and things like that. It looks so charming, so cute. I don't know why I haven't tried it. The next is Slime Rancher and this one, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think I like opened it one day. I opened Slime Rancher on my computer and then I just, I got tired. I was like, well, I had a long day of work. I'm going to sleep. Slime Rancher has never gotten played by me. I know I would be addicted to Slime Rancher as soon as I started. I get so many comments about Slime Rancher. People love this game in the cozy gaming community. You are breeding and collecting these slimes. It's kind of like task manager -y, and you also go and explore to find new slimes. It's just so wholesome and so cute. Someday, someday. Next is Sunhaven. So I didn't demo this, but I tried this game on Steam. So this is very, very similar to Stardew Valley. Farming, exploring, defending the town against something or other, <laughs> but very similar to Stardew Valley in a lot of respects, like town businesses and things like that and villagers to meet and romance. 
I don't know. I really, I really thought that I would get into this one after stream. I was like, this is a game I'm going to come back to for sure. And again, I think I just default to Stardew Valley because I know it and love it. But if you love Stardew Valley, I think you would absolutely love this game. Also, I think the characters are way cuter. And I think the like character customization that you can do on yourself is way cuter than Stardew Valley. So if that appeals to you, try it out. The next is Pokemon Arceus. I also didn't demo this. I just tried it on Steam and I know I would love it. It looks so fun. It's like this open world Pokemon game, totally different from the rest of the Pokemon games, which I know I am not really into the typical Pokemon RPG style. It's just not my thing. But Pokemon Arceus is so different and there's a lot of like exploring and kind of forging, but it is the same general Pokemon mechanic of like catching a Pokemon and fighting them and things like that. And I think that is what has deterred me from really getting into it, but I know I would like it. <laughs> I know I like it and I've had people tell me that I would like it. Someone needs to bully me into, into getting into this, I think, because I need to get past the Pokemon mental hurdle. Somebody, come on, just slide into my DMs and bully the hell out of me to play this. I'll take it. The next is Kataria Fables. I do have a demo of this. I would say this is, you know, like Stardew Valley Story of Seasons, but then a little bit more of an intense, like fighting mechanic. The enemies are actually pretty hard, but I really did like the fighting mechanic. It was really engaging. It reminded me kind of like of old internet RPGs. I don't know. I talk about it more in my demo. Trust me, it's very fun and farming and villagers to get to know. And there's a really cute like backstory about your relatives and their knowledge of the lore and stuff of the town. I don't know. It's adorable. And you're a cat. Every All of the villagers are animals. It's just, it's so cute. Next is Rune Factory 5. I literally have the woolly from Rune Factory 5 and yet I've only done a single demo of it. I know I would love it. It's Stardew Valley but immersive and 3D and there's like a fighting element to it. I know I would love this game. I would get sucked right in. Um, and you would too if you love Stardew Valley, if you love Story Seasons. The characters have a lot of like depth and backstory to them. The only thing I don't like about this game is that you can't customize your character. You're kind of just set as this specific character because it plays into the storyline. But I do really like when farming sims have kind of a customizability so that you can picture yourself like running off to take care of this farm. But this is like a totally different storyline. So I totally understand and respect that. I might have to put this one at the top of my list just to pay some respect to my little woolly. The last one is Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. If you can tell, there's kind of a theme in these games. And a lot of them are like farming sim. This is another like adventure farming sim. This one is a little bit more combat heavy. So I think that that is what has deterred me from really trying out but i've again heard so many good things from people in the cozy gaming community so i just know if i gave it a shot i would love it those are all of the games there's so many on this list but there's also so many more in my backlog that I know, I just know I would love if I tried them out. I wanna hear yours. What games have you had in your backlog for so long that you just cannot bring yourself to really get into, but you keep going back to the comfort games? Let me know in the comments. And you can always find me on TikTok and Instagram sharing some cozy game releases, cozy game updates, just general cozy life. And you can also find me on Twitch every Sunday. I also forgot to mention, please join my Discord if you wanna join the gaming book club. We have very loose, like we don't have any strict deadlines or anything like that. We just talk about the games that we're playing at the moment. And right now we're playing and talking about Eastward. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.